Hello everyone, welcome to S-Chan's Milestone Admin Application Tutorial. In this video, we will be discussing about Analytics Dashboard. So first, on your web browser, you have to enter app.milestone.in and after entering, your screen will look like this. Here, you have to enter your login credentials like this. After signing in, first screen will appear like this, Analytics Dashboard. So under Analytics Dashboard, admin can see the activity of both students and teachers, how many students and teachers have logged in into their accounts at least once, time spent on their apps, creating uh, content for the students, creating notes, creating bookmarks, things like that. So before moving ahead in the video, first we'll discuss about this filter here. As you can see, we have academic year, we have center, class, section, and the date. As per your requirement, you can change the academic year, like which academic year you want to view. If you have multiple schools, you can select the center from here. And if you want to view for a specific class, you can do that. And you can also filter out the dates as per your requirement. If you want to view it annually, you can do that. If you want to view for a specific month, you can do that too. This is for students as we are discussing student data first. So under students, we have these three tabs, activation, activity, and content. So let's discuss activation first. Under activation, as you can see here, we have the activity report of the students. How many students have logged in at least once into their accounts? This is a report on a monthly basis, as you can see in March. Four students have logged in in April, three students have logged in and in the month of July, six students have logged in. Then you can see the activity on a daily basis. Then we have center option. So as you can see here, we have the drop down for centers. If you will select a particular center, then in that case here, the class wise report will appear. But as I have not opted any center, so in my case, both the centers are appearing for me to view. Then we have active students who have attempted homework, assessments, created notes, created bookmarks, and who have viewed the content. So this data is available in a percentage form. And if you want to view it in a detailed manner, you have to click here on activity. Under activity, we have four tabs, homework, assessment, note, and bookmark. Here you can see students who have attempted the homework as here from March to June zero students have attempted the homework but in the month of July 16% of the students have attempted the homework then I have the center wise report here so you can compare like center two students are more actively attempting the homework compared to center one similarly for submission of homework you can see that on a monthly basis and as a center wise report but again if you will opt a particular center from here, then in that case, your class will appear here. Like class-wise submission for homework percentage, you will see. But again, if you will filter out the class as well, then in that case, only that particular class's data will appear here. Moving on to assessment. Here also you can see active students who have attempted the assessments. You can see the percentage of students who are attempting assessments on a monthly basis, then on a center-wise basis, submission for assessments, then score for assessment. Here we have the overall percentage for the center as well. You can see like uh, in both the centers, only 40% students are actually actively submitting the assessments and getting the scores viewed. Moving on to note, Students who have created the notes here, you can see from March to June, zero students have created the notes, but in the month of July, 33.33% students have created the notes. And then you can see in center one, 20% of the students have created, and in center two, only 12.5% of the students have created the notes. Then we have the overall percentage here for both the centers. Then you can easily compare the data of both the centers or if you have more than one center then again similar data is for the bookmark you can see active students who have created the bookmark you can see how many students are actually creating the bookmarks and you can view it as a center wise data as well and you can compare moving on to the content part 
Here you can see students who have viewed the content like in the month of March, 25% of the students have viewed and from April to June, 0% students and then in the month of July, 50% of the students have actually viewed the content. Then again, you can compare the center-wise report like in center two, only 25% students have created and center one, 40% of the students have created. So this way you can check like my center one is more actively uh, actually viewing the content the students of center one are actually viewing the content compared to center two so this way you can figure out the ways to communicate this to your students and to your teachers so that you can get a detailed data here then we have a pie chart here here you can see which type of content is actually viewed by the students like content viewed by the student here it is 16 posts in the web links as you can see yellow is a web link so web links are viewed only 16.6 percent then we have the other assets like uh, worksheets so only 16 percent students have viewed the worksheet here you can see uh, the assessment only 16 percent of the students have actually viewed the assessment but here we can see video like 50 percent of the students are actually viewing the video so this way you can compare which type of asset is actually viewed by the students then we have books viewed by the students here you have a complete data of your class you can see which class is viewing the book like class one students are viewing seven there are 7.14 percent of the students from class first who are viewing the books and here grade three students are also viewing the books but compared to other classes, there are zero students who have viewed the books. Then we have time spent viewed content by active students. So here you have a complete data, the collective data in 0 0.3 minutes. And then we have the classes mentioned here. So this way you can check how many uh, students are viewing the content and which class is more active compared to the other. Now, moving on to the teacher part. Being the admin, you can access teachers' activity as well. Like, uh, how many students are uh, logging in into their account? How many teachers are publishing the content, creating notes for the students, creating worksheets, assessments for the students? So here you can see. But moving ahead, uh, before moving ahead in the video, we'll discuss about this filter. Here you can see. Here we have the academic here, the center and a filter for teachers. If you want to view for a particular teacher, you can do that. You can select, you can just click here on the drop down, and you can select a particular teacher of your choice and you can also filter out the dates to view. So here we can see teachers uh, who are active, who have actually viewed the content here. You can see as well in the content. So in the month of April and May, teachers were actively viewing the content and here also you can see center one teachers are more active compared to center two teachers then we have content viewed by asset type so here you can also see then again pdfs are uh, more viewed by the teachers compared to the other assets mentioned here like video assessment web link and other like worksheets and all then we have time spent viewing content by active teachers so here you can see which class is more active compared to the other and the overall time is also mentioned here then moving on to the activity under activity we have these tabs so as this is uh, for teachers so we have these three tabs also here live class digital resource message so you can start from homework just let's see active teachers who have published homework here you can see in which month teachers have published the homework then you can get a center wise report as well similarly for assessment you can see teachers who have published the assessments for the students and again you can see the center wise report here like you can see clearly centers two teachers are more active compared to the others so this way you can check for assessments then moving ahead to note teachers who have created the notes here also you can see the data Clearly, like in the month of April and May, teachers have created the notes compared to March month. And here only center one teachers have created the notes. So this way you can compare, okay, my center one is more active uh, compared to the other center. And again, you can filter out the teachers as well. So you can see which teacher is actually viewing uh, and creating the content and note and bookmark.
now moving ahead to bookmark here you can see active teachers who have created the bookmarks here only uh, teachers have created bookmarks only in the month of april like 33.33 percent so this way you can see now moving on to the live class here also you can see active teachers who have created the live class you can compare like it is very clear from the data like center one teachers are actively doing all the uh, activities related to their app compared to center two so this way you can always uh, discuss with your teachers to be more active and to their accounts now we have digital resource here you can have the complete look for teachers who have published the digital resources then we have the message here teachers who have published messages for the students so here you can see the entire data and if i'll just click on center like a particular center so this way you can see okay center 2 is blank so this way you can easily check the activity of your students and of your teachers through analytics dashboard thank you